Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi Wa alaikum salam What happens on an atomic reality when a jinn enters or takes over the servant? Is the bad action creating a shared resonance with these beings? Hmm. <laughs> the barrier from the physicality. So that's the one thing that the, the barrier that the physicality is has a abnormal barrier between it and its soul. Alright, so that the child who's born Muslim, pure because its physicality and its soul are working together. They say by two years old and the conditioning and the environment, the nafs within it has gained a power. As a result you see the character of that child begin to complain more, they say terrible twos, they're starting to get angry, they're, they're starting to understand with their nafs how they can yell to get the response they want. So that is a, a like a, a veil that is now partitioning between the purity of the physical connection with the reality of the soul that was in a perfect connection. As this veil of the nafs enters then that becomes different. The no difference is shaitan and the shayateen and the, the bad vibrations of negativity, they by its nature comes and begin to make an agitation in the two connections and they push the soul connection away and begin to falsify an energy to the body so that it will give the command to the body that, you follow my inspirations. That's when we the teaching is that the person is being hijacked. They think their soul is telling them these waswases and information on people but that's not the character of the soul. So the waswas that's coming in means these are vibrational creatures that are coming in and giving all the bad characteristics. People think, oh I saw, I saw you do it, I saw it in a dream. No, this is not from angels. You don't see anything like that from angels. You don't hear bad things from angels. You don't hear information on people from angels. So it means those are not from the soul. These are all the shayateen and the negative energies that come in as a barrier between your soul and your body so that they can give the commands to the body. That's why the meditation, as soon as you meditate, a fire is coming from the shaykhs. That's why you don't meditate alone because you meditate alone it's like a speaker into the insanity. If you meditate alone with no madad, no support as if you've turned your speaker on to become insane because you sit there, you open a speaker and, oh everybody come talk to me. So imagine then every homeless person coming and talking to you, oh yeah, give me everything you want. Because it's just a crazy person. But the madad is the security. So as soon as the servant is told how to sit and, and ask for support, as soon as the shaykhs come asking, Ya Rabbi I want from you from the light of Allah light of Sayyidina Muhammad your authorized representatives and then my shaykhs I put them by name and I make my madad and asking to be in their association because Allah said, be with the truthful servant, at all times be with them. As a result in their madad they come with a fire and immediately that fire that begin to enter into the body, it begins to burn away all of these deceitful characters that are coming between your physicality and your soul. That's why it's such a hard state to achieve because the, the thing in the middle, the creatures in the middle they wanted you for themselves, they want to give you inspiration, they want you to follow their commands. The meditation if you do it, do it daily, make the, the tafakkur, make the contemplation, it's an immense power that comes. That power burns that, that, that middle vibration. If you do it efficiently and you do it sufficiently then what happens? That middle vibration is now burned. As a result your body and your soul are in a strong communication with each other and the energy is becoming so strong that very few things can begin to enter again into that. They become like that, that fly killer, the vibration of your energy and the light is so strong 
that anything that coming it's getting burned and going away. And your light becomes strong enough in which to sense something is coming into your energy field. But until then it's the person, the devil and their soul and the devil's coming in between the two with the nafs, with the desire and the ego, inshaAllah.